This model here is the AccuBrush XT pole mountable version. And the difference between this version and the MX is that it has a swivel handle here, which is also threaded. And that allows you to put this unit onto any standard threaded paint pole, like the one I've got here. And this way I can paint up along the ceiling without having to get up and down on a ladder. I would just put this on, I'd extend it up, and I'd be able to paint up there. So I'm just going to show you down here how this paints. Again, it's got the patented combination of the roller, the shield, and the little brush. Um, this brush right here is what's going to paint right up to the very edge. So if I insert it in here um, to load it, I'm going to pull this back. Then I'm going to be able to load this just like I would load any standard paint roller. Um, when I'm ready to paint, I'm going to close it up. And let's say this is a door frame, a window. You can go around crown molding, baseboard, chair rail, ceiling. And then we're just going to push up, down, and up. And... There we go. So if you take a look, if you come in right here, you can see just how cleanly that brush is going to paint right up to the edge of the trim. That gives you a nice clean edge. You couldn't get an edge that clean using masking tape because a lot of times when you use masking tape, the paint bleeds under the masking tape so you don't get a clean line. You certainly couldn't get a line that clean doing it freehand. Um, and that also doing it freehand takes a lot longer to do. So when I'm done with this, you'll notice there's a little bit of ridge of paint there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to lock it back into the locked position, and I'm going to open up the shield, and then I'm going to take this, and I'm going to actually just feather out that line so I don't end up with a, a line, and I'm done. I can edge a room, I can actually paint an entire room faster than most people can edge it, doing it by hand or with masking tape. Okay, so when we're, when we're uh, done painting, either for like, let's say we've edged a room and we're going to do something else in the room, or we're not going to paint for a little while, maybe 5, 10, 15 minutes, what I'll do is we'll go ahead and take the brush out of its holder. Um, and this is just a water bottle that we cut the top off of, and we'll just drop it in there when we're not painting. And that way, that way we can keep the paint from drying out in the bristles. And when we're ready to paint again, we'll go ahead and take it out. We'll swish it around. We'll take off any excess um, paint and we will stick it back into the, into the holder. And don't worry about it if it's wet. If it's wet, that actually helps the paint flow. Sometimes it'll make your line a little bit cleaner. If you're having trouble with the paint getting dry on the brush and you kind of getting globs along the edge. One thing that we recommend is that you actually take the paint, swish it out. Sorry. One thing we recommend is you take the paint brush, swish it out, get rid of any kind of buildup of paint on this little brush, and then stick it back into the, into the edger and you're good to go. Sometimes you're going to see paint on the outside of the shield. It is very important that you take a look here and make sure that if there's any paint that's building up or if there's paint on the wheels, that you wipe it off with a wet rag. Otherwise, you're going to get paint onto the trim. doesn't happen very often because of the design of the shield, but if it does do it, you need to have a little wet rag and you just take it and touch it and get rid of that paint. If you are done painting either for the day or you're going to take a break for a little while, if you have a plastic bag, it could be a just a grocery bag or a baggie, you can actually just take it and wrap the roller in a plastic bag to keep it from drying out. And then when you're ready to paint, just take the plastic bag off and you're good to go again. Both the MX and the XT have this little brush lever. This lever determines how far out that brush is. So if you are painting up against a wall and you look at it and you go, oh, there's a little bit of a white line there. All you need to do is to move this up. It can be a little bit or a lot, depending on, I usually start with it down in this position. 
And when you put bent in this position, you have to push the brush in all the way. Push it gently so it's all the way back into the socket. Now I'm going to show you how this works. We're looking at the brush from the back side now, and I'm going to just very slowly lift that brush lever up. And as I lift that up, I don't know if you can see it, but we're actually pushing that brush out about a millimeter, maybe two. That's all you need to move it out. This is a very precision tool, and strangely enough, half a millimeter or a millimeter makes a huge difference in terms of how close that line is. Again, when we start with it, we're going to take it and we're going to push it back. The down position is really where we're going to do 90% of our painting. And it's only in certain circumstances, especially when you've got knockdown texture, orange peel texture, textured ceilings. The other time when this is really useful is when we're painting around cabinets. And there's a little gap, you may have seen it, behind the cabinet. And we want to paint in there. We'll just go ahead and extend the brush out a little bit and it'll paint behind the cabinet. But again, 90% of the time, we're going to keep it in the down position because that's going to take care of 90% of the walls. The other feature on the XT and the MX is this little lever here. It is the roller quick release lever. So instead of having to wrench this roller off and get your hands all dirty, when we're done painting, all we're going to do is we're going to open up the shield and then over to the bucket of water or into our paint tray, we're going to take this, push it in, and the roller is going to just fall off. Easy, no muss, no fuss. Keeps your fingers clean.